I want to know whether it's only, this conference is only exclusive for the women because it's basically, you know, trying to sensitize women and it, uh, men allowed. And another thing, another point to note is people will say men are corrupt, women are corrupt even in polit holding political offices. So what the thoughts about women, you know, leading? Are there differences between women taking the leading position as against that of men? Okay, thank you so much. So for, to your first question, no, this conference is inclusive. Um, it is being promoted by um, Women Radio, which is a premier radio station uh, for women in Nigeria. And uh, But it's, it's obviously inclusive. We understand <laughs> that we cannot do this alone. And um, like I mentioned, we do have um, the vice president um, of Nigeria, who of the country, who will be at the conference. And we have, you know, um, also a state governor, the governor of Kwara State, will be at the conference. So this is certainly not exclusive to women attendees. We have a host of um, delegates and participants who've already indicated interest um, across both gender lines who will be at the conference because we do realize, of course, that we need both um, genders to come together to really move this agenda forward. And to the issue of corruption, um, I don't think that this conversation is really about corruption. Um, it's not about, you know, values and leadership is something that is cross cutting. We have great and fantastic male leaders, just as we do female leaders, and we have those who fall below par, both men and women. This conversation is about having you know, women's voices and women's representation on the table, right? This, this, con this um, conference and this conversation is really about fulfilling the policies which we already have in place, mm. such as the 35% uh, policy which we have in terms of uh, women's uh, political appointments and all the other you know, conversations and sort of uh, uh, bills, uh, legislative bills and all, you know, that we have before our National Assembly, which will really move, um, you know, women's political participation forward and our rights even as citizens um, in this country. So that's what this conversation is about. Um, there is something different about women's leadership. Uh, women's leadership is certainly more collaborative, <laughs> uh, more consensus building, and we need more of that in, 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 in our country. We need more of that today, really, in moving this nation forward. And that's what you know, this conference is about, right. emphasizing um, the need for right. equal representation yeah. or more representation of women in the political and democratic spaces. Thank you. Mm, right. But, but you, know, you know, briefly, uh, what are your thoughts generally on how the issue of financing, especially uh, for female uh, political hopefuls, how how do you think women can can break this barrier of uh, of funding uh, in their political ambitions? Right. Well, so um, I think the answer to that question is uh, multi-dimensional. Um, so I'll probably just touch on one or two. The first one is even within the political party system itself. You know, we need to have conversations and you know do a level of advocacy in the next four years over some level of reforms because, like you, you know, like I mentioned and like you've alluded to, the entry barriers when it comes to finance, even in picking up, um, you know, forms forms to to indicate your interest in running for a position is so high that that itself serves as a barrier, right? Mm. So that's, that's one, on one hand, is really making that advocacy to see if there can be special, um, you know, concessions mm. and um, incentives and things like right. that within the political party system to enable, you know, the, the cost of even indication of interest and entry and participation to come down. Right. The other side is really to galvanize funding um, for women's, um, you know, um, you know, Governize funding really for women when it comes to running for elections, mm. and that can be done, you know, from a grassroots level, mobilizing women, setting up. You know, there is an organization um, called the Nigerian Women's Trust Fund, who is a partner um, at this conference as well, who right. also already mobilized resources for women um, who indicate interest in running for elections. So there's a whole gamut of what can be done, um, probably beyond our conversation today. All right, we thank you very much uh, for speaking with us on TVC News. We uh, hope you have. Have, uh, fruitful uh, deliberations uh, at the VAL conference there. Fabia Ogomeko, Chair, Planning Committee, VAL conference. Thank you once again. Thank uh, you so much. October 25th is the date. Thank you. All Thank right. you.